Hi there. I've seen a common problem online with people wanting to display more digits on the serial terminal in Arduino, but they're only getting two when they want to display many more. Um, that was one problem I was running into. I was trying to use uh, an LCD screen or the serial monitor at one point as well to be able to display GPS coordinates, but when I'm displaying the float values, it only goes to two digits, and I need about four or five digits to be able to see where the actual GPS coordinates are. So I went online, I really couldn't find anything to help me out. Um, so I accidentally tried something that I thought would work and it actually was able to show more digits. Um, I'm sure if you did more research online you might be able to find someone who posted how to do this, but I figured you know, it was something I couldn't easily find so I might as well just put a video together and see if this helps anybody out. So. Here's just a little program I have right here with a float value of just 12.45. I mean, just some random number, but with many digits. Um, and to only make the, I mean, to make this work, you have to have it as a float. So you have a float value, which means that you'll be having decimal points uh, along with the value. And what I'm going to do is just print this value, and let me erase that and show you what the default is when you print this to the serial monitor. So when you run this, this is typically what people see um, and they wish they could get this entire value of 12.4453 or whatever value it may be that you guys are using. So let me print that and you can see right here that it's only showing 12.45 and it's rounding the second digit. It really is showing or using the entire value but just for display purposes they're only showing you to second digit but when it does calculations and stuff like that in your code, it is using the entire float value. But if you're wanting to display this on an LCD screen, maybe you want the entire value. So let me show you how to do that. Um, and it's very simple. Just put a comma and a value, a number uh, saying what digit you'd like to go out to. So let's say I want to go out to well, 1, 2, 3. Let's say I want to go out to the third digit. Just put a 3, run it and let's see what that does it put it out to the third digit right to where the five is as you can see in the code it goes out to the five so let's say let's do the whole thing I believe that's uh, seven so let's make it seven rerun it and it should show this entire value in the serial monitor and there you go well it's showing a four at the end I don't know what the issue is with that, but um, it is showing the value. Let me try eight and see if that makes that a five. I'm sure it'll show some random value out here because it's not specified, but that's how I was able to get my values to display on an LCD screen with the GPS because um, that's what I needed, and I'm sure there's many projects that you guys who are watching this need to have more values being displayed so you can get more accurate results, at least just seeing it, but like I said earlier, no matter what, the program is using the entire float value, but when displaying it, it defaults to just its two digits. So, I'm just curious. Let me try eight and see what happens. Um, I know if you go more than what the actual float value is, you start getting random numbers. Um, yeah, so like this three, I didn't put there, but it still shows you the values that you put in here originally. That's not a five, but well, maybe someone can comment and tell me why that possibly is. I have a feeling it's just because it's not necessarily designated at a certain uh, length. That's just how the program is uh, specifying the number at that distance or at that digit. So, um, hope this helps. Hope this clears up some questions about how to be able to print float values in Serial Monitor. I know it was a question I had when I was dealing with my project, and hopefully this clears up any questions that you guys may have. Um, just to bring up a point again, this is only going to work if you make this a float value. If you make this an integer, it's only going to go, it's only going to show 12. To get the values to show digits or decimal points, you need to have float. So, again, hope this helps. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll try to respond as much as I can. If there's anything I said that you guys felt was incorrect, feel free to comment and uh, correct me. Um, but, hope this helped and enjoy the rest of your day and have a good one. Enjoy making your projects.